beautiful ignited souls we are ready for a new creation there is something very powerful i've discovered something very powerful about applying makeup perhaps it's not really about applying makeup but about what looking in the mirror really elicits it's an opportunity where you are looking at yourself and this is where you're always faced with the question of how you look and of course a question always beckons an answer and you are making a summary about your features about your feeling perhaps more about your features Oh, I love my eyes. Or you may say, oh, observe whether your eyes are looking healthy or not. Um, okay, um, <laughs> this eyebrow is going like from here to eternity, but I'm going to live it. And this is where you kind of um, really make... Uh, as I say, a summary about your features. And I used to be a very expert on eyebrows. Um, suppose some of that still stays or still stands. What do you think? Okay. Um, yeah, something powerful about looking in the mirror. Looking in the mirror. So I was doing my face, putting a bit of foundation on, not much, because somehow lately I don't really like too much heavy makeup or a lot. Let's see, that looks okay. And the thoughts of the course that I want to introduce for people who have gone through ancestral um, abuse um, with the relationships, meaning sexual abuse in the family. And apart from having some issues with my computer, it's, it's always with the law of attraction that I question myself. How have I attracted this um, situation? So, um, whether it was it's the question is if I can't really run away from doing this course or trying to accompany someone else on their journey of healing. It's almost like I was tempted to give myself an excuse which I know would not work. I can't run away from this. Well, I could do, but under, <laughs> under what cost, what um, circumstance, what, yeah. Um, okay, I'm just going to use my eyebrow pencil for my eyelid. Well, sometimes I do that because, or maybe I have got an eyeliner and this is, a, but I do like this one. It kind of works really well. So and um, there you are voila this is where looking in the mirror you get the opportunity to say yes i can or but i think it's always who do you think you are who do you think you are and i said well i'm crimey i'm crimey queen I'm shocked in a way. I've done this. I've done the work. I try to tell myself. I actually feel like crying. I do feel like crying. I've done the work. And so, I am qualified to help another to do the work. What do you think? 
and um, it's like a little monster somewhere in the corner of my eye or the back of my mind somewhere not even quite sure where to look at him and he says I'm, I won't bother with mascara um, yeah I do like my eyes <laughs> okay well I like all of me basically but I do feel like crying and I'm not quite sure whether I feel like crying for people who are in a state of self of helplessness or um, wanting to heal they may have been on this journey like I was on a long journey of um, self-love but not quite get into that point where one is um, really wanting to be um, I'm just looking at the gap between my eyebrows. When I was growing up, they met. They were kissing each other. Now, look at them. Yeah. It's as if they don't have a relationship with each other. But I need to remind them that they're still a pair. They're still together. And I still love them and embrace them. So... I feel yes I've got to do this I've just got to do this I can't um, keep running away from from something that I know I ought to do okay now in case you're wondering what is she doing because I can't be bothered to get up and actually Okay, get a brush. And it doesn't matter. For me, it's about getting it done. Yeah. Um, I think I can hide behind the lens. <laughs> okay. So I've got to do this. I've got to do this course. I've got to... Um, find a way to accompany um, those that I can't help. So if you're watching this <laughs> and if you have any ideas how I can be of service, how I can help, because I'm not finding this as easy as I thought. You know, you get an idea and you think, yeah, I've got it all well and mapped out. And now it's like, well, where do I go? Where do I start? It's that thing of looking in the mirror. And I think when you give that little um, monster too much attention in that thought in the mirror, it magnifies. And that's what I have understood about the mirror. Be mindful of what you think about whilst looking in the mirror. Hmm. That's really a powerful one. Be mindful what thoughts you entertain whilst looking at yourself in the mirror, especially the uh, magnifying one, because that's what magnifies. That's what gets, that's what hits you back. And that's why a lot of people, when they want to do something, you see this played out in the movies quite a lot. And um, if they want to prop themselves or, you know, there is that self-talk, whether good or evil, self-talk in the mirror. Because that, I really truly get it now. This evening I thought, um, yeah, that's what it is. Hence why if you do not love yourself and you keep looking in the mirror with the thought of not loving yourself, then that expands. You look in the mirror with the thought of wanting, at least wanting to love yourself, at least having the intention to love yourself. That works. That's my message now. So now I've got the key of how we're going to go about this.
and you can try this exercise and see how it works and let me know <laughs> okay by the way I am crimey queen and I intend to be your partner in crime in breaking down the rules breaking down the barriers so we can get over striving or surviving the act of um, sex um, incestual abuse and instead let's thrive beyond the scars and activate and cultivate the art of self-love. Thank you.